Hello, welcome to another Lawn Fun video. Today we're taking a look at the new Tiny Gift Box B add-on. So this die creates all the pieces to make your tiny gift box into a cute little bumblebee. To create your B box, you're of course gonna need the Tiny Gift Box die to cut out the box. And then the pieces that come in this die set cut the face of the bee, it cuts a piece for the bottom of the bee and the top of the head. It also cuts some stripes for the sides of the box and the top, so one cuts four for two sides and two for the top. It also cuts the little antenna that you layer behind. There's a little stinger and some little rosy cheeks to go on the face. And then of course there are the wings of the bee. So we're gonna assemble our little box here and I've cut this box from some sunflower cardstock and I'm just folding along all the score lines that the die creates. And I'm just making sure that those folds are nice and crisp. So once I have all these folds folded, I can add some double-sided tape to the tabs that need to adhere together to create the box. So these four little tabs on the side, I'm just gonna put a little piece of double-sided tape on each of them. And then we can just peel off that liner paper and assemble our box before we start to decorate it. So I'm just peeling off those liner pieces on those four tabs. And then these are the sides, you're just gonna fold them up and in here, this back piece of the box to that tab and then the front piece of the box to that tab. So the one on top is just gonna hang out loose there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And now we have created our box that's all ready to decorate. So these little tabs will fold down on the top and then that lid will just close and slide in there. So the die that cuts the four bars that you see here, these decorate the sides of the box. So these are a little bit shorter and they fit the sides of the box perfectly. You're going to use two on each side to create the stripes of the B. The die that creates the two bars, which are slightly longer, those go on the top of the box. So I've just put a little bit of glue where those stripes should be, and I'm actually going to make sure that those line up with the stripes I just put on the side. And then I'm gonna move on to the other side of the box and I'm gonna use those other two bars that were cut from that die that cuts four and just put those on the other side to match the top and the other side that I've already decorated. So you can see those stripes line up all the way around our box. Now we can put the little stinger and it fits right into that thumb notch on the back of the box. And this way the box still opens easily because you're not gluing any pieces in the way of that little thumb hole. Now to work on the face of my bumblebee here. So this piece layers on the bottom of this front piece and then this one will layer on the top to create his little head. And then I've just cut a piece of black card stock to fit behind his eyes and his mouth. So I'm just gonna glue that to the back side so that they are black on the front.
And then I'm going to add his little antenna. So I'm putting glue on that thick piece that's on the bottom. And then I'm just going to layer that on the back side of his head. So that you just see those two little tiny antennas sticking up. Now I can add the whole face to the front of my box. I did forget to add his cute little rosy cheeks, so I'm just going to add those quickly. Those are cut from some ballet slipper cardstock. And then for the wings, I've cut these from some white shimmer cardstock, but I also thought it would be cool to do two layers of wings. So I'm also going to cut these from some iridescent vellum, and I'm going to layer these behind the shimmer cardstock for a double layered look. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer these behind my white shimmer cardstock using a little bit of liquid glue. And now that my wings are assembled, I can add them to the top of the box. And you can see how the bottom of the wing there is flat, and that's so that it fits directly against the face that's on the front of the box. So you can see how those are going to fit there. They're going to stick to the top of the box, but they're going to go against the face at the front. And I'm just adding them with a big glue dot. You could also use liquid glue to do this. And then here is our cute little bee box. I just think he is so adorable. And he goes perfectly with the ladybug box that we already have. I just think these two are just so cute together. Now I'm going to make a card using this little bee. And this is a simple card. I'm just assembling his face like I did before for the box. I'm going to layer a piece of black behind the eyes and the mouth. Add the pieces to the top of his head and the bottom. And then I'm going to layer his little antenna behind his head. I had the stinger cut out there, but it didn't really work for the design that I decided to do. I'm also going to add his little rosy cheeks. And then I have a piece of that pink paper with the bee design on it from Hello Sunshine. And I've just cut it out with a stitched rectangle. And I'm going to layer it onto a white card base so I have that thin white frame around it. And I just thought that this paper went perfectly with this little bee that we're going to put on the front. I'm using a scripty happy to cut out the word happy. And then I'm also going to use Oliver's ABCs to die cut the word day. So we're going to make this card say happy B day for happy birthday, but we're going to use the B little face as a substitute for the letter B, which I just think is super cute. So I've just laid all my elements onto my card base and I've cut the wings for the bee from that pearlescent vellum again. I just think this has a really cool look for wings like they're translucent. And I'm going to glue those down behind the bee and I'm using liquid glue and I'm only putting it on the ends so that that glue is going to get hidden by the bee's face. And then now I can continue to glue down all the pieces on the front of the card. I'm going to glue these peacock die cut pieces that spell out day and I just like the playful placement of these not being straight on the card. I just think it adds a fun element to the card design. I'm going to go ahead and glue down that scripty happy that's cut from mermaid cardstock. And then I can glue my bee to the card base and actually put some foam adhesive on the back of him just so he's popped up a little bit and there's some dimension to this card. Then I added a few clear sequins to the card just for some extra shine and a little extra interest. 
And then now this card is all finished and I just love that shimmer on those pearlescent vellum wings when they catch the light. Let's take a look at just a couple other projects by the design team. Tammy created this super sweet card and I love the die cut oval that she created into a beehive for that bee to peek over. It's just so cute. And then Letitia made this little bee box and I love those super bright rosy cheeks that she added to the front. Here's another look at the box I created in today's video. And thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.